Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Investing with the Difference. So if after our watching our last video, you are wondering who is your airdrops deck and uh, whether they are a whale, they are trying to hurt the market or they are trying to speculate. We have a good news. So we got in touch with this project. As it happens, they are viewers uh, of our channel and they contacted us and they uh, clarified what exactly they're planning to do. So the good news is that uh, they are not a speculator. They are not looking to dump it in the market. And they explained to us a real use case of uh, buying that much of RAM. So what basically they are trying to do is uh, they are trying to build uh, airdrop as a service where they will be optimizing airdrops, uh, working with dApp developers uh, by reusing the RAM. And uh, that way it's a win-win situation uh, where they can accumulate RAM right now and uh, they can help uh, launch uh, dApps, uh, specifically the airdrop part. And uh, this is also designed to be a community project which will be very similar to the EOS DAC model as they explained to me. And a very interesting concept. I think uh, we will wait for more details when they are ready to share. I think they are in a very early stages. Uh, our intention in the last video was not to highlight this particular uh, account. I think my message still remains same. Uh, the RAM trading is highly speculative and there are a lot of whales in the market. While I'm saying that, uh, means of course, my, my apologies to the team if we painted uh, Airdrop's DAC team in a wrong picture. Uh, that was not our goal. Uh, but I think overall, uh, what is, uh, it is highlighting to us is there is a real use case for buying RAM. Uh, as an investment. Uh, of course, it will uh, dis depend upon the supply and how the supply can be increased in long run. But in short term, uh, this is not a bad place to start uh, buying RAM if you are planning to use it. So that's again very, very critical. If you're planning to do a dApp development uh, or if you are planning to do any smart contracts on EOS, uh, I would say you should consider buying it because it will be a hot property. It's like real estate, uh, more and more dApps coming in. You will see this uh, RAM will be in high demand. Um, but I think there is no way you can price it right now because uh, most of the current RAM market is driven by speculation. Uh, and we are glad to see that uh, there are some projects coming up uh, which see that there is a need for uh, uh, holding RAM. And that can actually stabilize the market when we have big investors in addition to speculators. Uh, and anytime it falls, there will be people who will be buying uh, more RAM. So this is great, I think, uh, for community and I wish them all the best. And we will definitely share more details about them uh, because anything which is being done for EOS community, we always support them. And our goal is not to hurt any project. Uh, so if you're still wondering what uh, EOS Airdrops DAC is, so we got this information for you. And uh, But I think overall, be very, very careful if you're trading RAM and uh, try and figure out, uh, you know, what, if you're really getting into the trading, make sure you learn. You have to be very, very careful monitoring how the RAM supply is going to be altered, how they are going to increase it. And uh, specifically, uh, currently the usage of RAM, I would be glad to figure out how the current usage is panning out. Like what is the real usage? If somebody can define a tool to do that, that would be really amazing uh, because uh, that we need to understand each airdrop when it's completed, how much of RAM they are still holding uh, for, re for retaining the token data versus uh, something which they can release into the market. So these kind of data will be the next step where we are going to investigate and we'll let you know what we figure out. But if you have anything to share, please do comment on our videos and uh, let us know if uh, there is some information which is publicly available. Thanks a lot for joining once again and uh, keep watching our channel for more information. I think EOS RAM is one of the exciting space right now uh, while I think uh, the D apps coming up uh, are really, really exciting. Uh, we are waiting for more and more D apps to come to see that uh, how this EOS network uh, pans out. Thanks again for joining. Bye for now. Um, talk to you next time.